Let me show you how to design a professional poster in Adobe Photoshop. From layout to final touches. Start by creating a new file size 16 by 29.7 centimeters. Choose the type tool. This is the font that I am using. You can find it in the description below. Follow along these steps. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to support my channel. Let's change this part of the text to this blue color. Follow this process. If you have any questions, write them below and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Press Ctrl T, rotate it 90 degrees like this. Scale it while holding the Shift button. Select your background layer, then head over to Adjustment Layers and choose Solid Color. Pick a black color and click OK. Now select the text layer, hold Alt, and drag it to the right to duplicate it. Reduce the fill to 0%, then open Layer Style and choose Stroke. Apply the following settings, and when you're done, click OK. Create a new group, and drag this text layer inside it. Let's rename this group. Right-click the group and choose a color label. Then add a layer mask to the group. Choose the brush tool. Choose the soft round brush. Set the opacity to 100 and reduce the flow. Set the foreground color to black. Follow this process. Before we continue, I just want to quickly mention my Patreon page. You can download all the PSD files from my tutorials on Patreon page for a small fee. It's a great way to support the channel and get all the project files in one place. Check the link in the description. Let's get back to the tutorial. Drag this image into Photoshop. You'll find the download link in the description below. Scale it while holding the Shift button. Go to Select and choose Subject. Add a layer mask. Press Ctrl T and let's scale it while holding the Shift button. Right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Now go to Image, then Adjustments, and choose Levels. We're going to adjust the colors of this image, so just follow along with these steps. Duplicate this image like this. Choose this layer. Go to Filter. Blur Gallery, choose Path Blur. Follow these steps to achieve the same look. When you finish, press OK. Put these two images in a group. Let's rename it. Right click here and choose a color for this group. Choose this blurred image and let's duplicate it few times. Follow these steps. If you have any questions, write them below and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Now select the Type tool and let's add some text right here. Hit the Like button and subscribe to my channel. Follow along these steps. Let's change the font to Montserrat Semi Bold Italic. This is the font I'm using. Just follow these settings. If you have any questions, write them below and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Follow these steps to achieve the same look.
Press Ctrl T and rotate it 90 degrees like this. Scale it down accordingly. Hold Alt and drag to make a copy. Follow along these steps. Now drag this plastic texture image to Photoshop. Change the blending mode to screen. Add a layer mask. Choose the brush tool. Follow this process. If you have any questions, write them below and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Press Ctrl Shift Alt E. Right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter and choose Camera Raw Filter. Play around with these settings to make your image look more appealing. Here's the before. Here's the after. That's it. Hope you liked it. You can download all the PSD files from my tutorials on Patreon page for a small fee. It's a great way to support the channel and get all the project files in one place. Check the link in the description. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Also watch other tutorials in my channel.